Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. We are here today, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to be continuing on with this dual primal team that we started at the beginning of this week. Just to recap, we've got the Groudon, on the Tapakoko, Kyogre, Stack Attacker, Salamence, and Incineroar. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a Raw Pace and a Poker Pace. Check out the details of the team, do try it out if you'd like to play around with dual primals, and if you do, let me know how you get on with the team, but without further ado, let's get into today's episode as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video just lets me know that you're enjoying the content at the minute and to continue with it and also subscribe to the channel for more content pokemon orientated and uh, as always leave your comments down below let me know your thoughts on the team in general and what you're liking about it so we'll pick some music to get us off the mark today team skull boss let's go with that one we haven't had that in a while so and we'll search for our first opponent. Unfortunately, I'm recording these episodes back to back, so as you would have seen in yesterday's episode, I wasn't feeling too well, but like I said, I'm gonna plow through and get these done, and then go and get some rest. So hopefully, uh, for the stream on Thursday, which we will be doing 8 p.m. over on Twitch, do come across, and uh, we'll not be playing this team, but we'll be playing another team. Um, I haven't decided yet, but if you've got certain teams that you'd like to see me play on on the stream on Thursday Do let me know, but I'm gonna after this rest up and hopefully feel better for the stream on Thursday and then next week's content will be a little bit better So I'm just searching for that first opponent. Hopefully it doesn't take too long like I say and keep saying all the time um, But just to talk about the team Rudely interrupted every time. It's like a trigger, isn't it? We'll talk about the team in a minute um, because we've got a first opponent playing a really nice looking team, actually. Consisting of Gastrodon, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Sogaleo, Tapu Koko, and Tapu Fini. So double Tapus here just to help control the board. And got nice switch ins, offensive pressure as well from kind of both spectrums. You got the Tapu Koko that's really fast offensive. Um, helps protect things like Rayquaza from Salomon, especially if it's holding the, uh, the Z move there. Uh, Sogaleo as well, uh, it does have access to Trick Room, so something we need to look out for there. And the Rayquaza uh, does have a flurry, a, an amazing move pool so we can't really expect uh, whatever there but Gastrodon gives us a little few issues because Kyogre doesn't really fare too well against Gastrodon it, it kind of limits our ability to throw out um, water type attacks freely um, and does pressure our Groudon with its its uh, ground type attacks as well so uh, in general I definitely want to bring I think Coco is super important for us here um do we go Kyogre or Groudon here like Groudon's like really good I think we go Groudon and then Salamence I think because Stax isn't going to enjoy this this matchup at all I don't think like Sogaleo, Ray, Gastrodon could all give it a hard time with respective uh, super effective attacks so we'll lock in with these We'll kick off our first one today. This feels like it's going to be a tough matchup, but a really interesting one. And it's nice when you're testing a team out for the first time to come up against teams like this and think, ooh, this is going to be really tough. And it's good. Just take a mental note of that team um, and be like, right, well, I need to have a better game plan against it and you have better ways around it. What can we do to change things about this? So it's valuable information for you on you getting to that end point with any team. Uh, so it's not a bad thing and we'll see how we get on if we get a win that'll be really good we just got to play play smart like they say um okay we're gonna see Rayquaza and Incineroar come out for my opponent and uh, their Incineroar appears to be faster than ours do we just trade fake outs here potentially um we could fake out the Ray switch Coco out into to Salamence yeah, get double intimidate. It's gonna be nice, I think. Yeah, happy doing that. Keep Coco around for later. We could have probably U-turned as well with that Incineroar. It's just nice to stop the the Ray from being able to to move this turn. And if we catch it with a fake out, break a potential sash there. I'm gonna see the Ray just switch out though. Uh, so Galeo hit the field. So we are gonna see fake out from the opposing Incineroar and fake out from our Incineroar. Now I don't know if we'll see a trick room here with my opponent maybe expecting um, like I would imagine we see a superpower 
I'm going to switch it into Coco. Expecting a superpower coming out there. And I'm going to switch into Groudon as well. Uh, with Salamence. And just preserve the Intimidate on both of our Pokemon. Because you can see how like physically built my opponent's um, team is so far. Like They're all physical attackers. Maybe not the Rayquaza, but it's definitely got Dragon Ascent. Um, so the Intimidate does help with that massively. If we see a Trick Room here, that would be really nice for us. We've got to watch out as well for this Sogaleo carrying Wide Guard uh, if we want to start launching some Precipice Blades in the future, but let's see what my opponent does here. Uh, super power, okay. Yeah, probably a U-turn on the Incineroar, I'd imagine. Ooh, Snarl, okay. I don't mind that too much. So I think what we'll do is Volt Switch out onto the Incineroar, it's a pretty guaranteed Volt Switch there, it gets us our Incineroar back onto the field. Um, and we could just Fire Punch the Sogaleo, I think that's probably a better option just because of the, the, the potential wide guard that could come out here. Uh, the worst case scenario would be Incineroar switching into Gastrodon um, and the Sogaleo getting a Sunsteel Strike, which will probably outspeed our Groudon, to be honest, and picking up a knockout on Coco, uh, taking Coco out, it doesn't really help us too much, especially because we're going to rely on it quite heavily f to help deal with the... Uh... Okay, it's the other way around. That's not too bad. And the Ray coming in there. So we'll catch Ray with a Volt Switch, which is nice. It's not Mega Evolved, so we will get some decent damage onto it. Um, and the Airlock activating there, so... That's alright, I don't mind that too much at all. Um, we'll get Incineroar onto the field now. And we'll get a Fire Punch onto this Gastrodon. So that's the big thing. It's not going to do very much though. But a burn would be very, very helpful here, of course. Doing not bad damage, especially considering the sun's not active. Um, we need to... I mean, could we Z-move the Gastrodon? It's definitely an option. I feel like the Gastrodon out of everything sticks around here, to be honest. Um, is it going to be enough to get it, though? That's a question. I don't know. Um, we could just fake out and then switch into Ments. Uh, could be an option. Yeah, let's do that. Fake out and bring in Mence. And then we can try and get a, some sort of speed control going. I need my charger. My chargey. Because my DS has run out of battery. So before that red light of death starts coming on and flashing, we'll try and... Oop. There we go. Okay. We haven't broke anything. That's good. So get Salamence in. I'm going to see the Ray Mega Evolve. Hopefully it goes for like an Earth Power into that Groudon slot. That would be ideal. Because then the next turn we can we can definitely go for the Z move and Hyper Voice. Earth Power. Uh, it's into Incineroar. It's not great. Okay. That's not the worst. I mean we will take another uh, we won't take another one now. Uh, but we've got the Draco Meteor. We can fire into the Rayquaza slot. It's just whether or not the ray is a salt vest because i think even from this range we probably don't get it i'm gonna go for the z move there anyway and i'm gonna go for mega evolve and go for draco into the ray and hope to get it salt vest it will take it though i would imagine it has taken a bit of chip though and draco's gonna okay we're gonna see it switch out and cinema come in yeah okay that doesn't help our z move and I haven't changed the Z crystal. Ah, from yesterday's episode. What am I doing? Okay. Well, I wonder if we see an ice beam uh, onto Salamence here. Maybe. Losing Salamence is not going to be ideal, though. Well, losing either Pokemon here is not going to be ideal. We'll get a Draco Meteor into the Incineroar. And the Z move. Yeah, the worst Z move choice. 
tomorrow I will change this. I will change this after this, directly after this episode. I will go out and I will put the proper Z move onto Incineroar. I don't know why I did this. I just must have been not paying attention. Um, but minus one, not going to be doing as much damage as we needed to. Uh, yeah, and a nice beam coming out. Okay. No, we don't ever take that. Right, well, the Gastrodon definitely in range to go down, I think. Um, I'm going to have to contend with Earth Power next. Um, okay, let's bring in Groudon. Because then I think we play on the fact that we can just press his blades and Darkest Lariat, and both of our Pokemon are going to outspeed the Gastrodon, so. We will take it down whatever happens here. Uh, the only thing is I would like to U-turn out onto the Gastrodon, but I just don't think the U-turn's going to get it on minus one. And I just don't want to risk not taking it down for it to Earth Power, one of our Pokemon. It's just not, not going to be the, the most optimal thing to do here. Um, you've got to think that if we are able to deal with the Rayquaza with our Tapu Koko, we could probably win this match. But... Uh, the extreme speed is going to be a bit of a pain, especially if we haven't got our Intimidate active. So it's going to be a case of trying to get Coco out onto the field for Incineroar. Okay, we're going to see Incineroar and Ray come in. You see the Gastrodon just protect here, maybe. I don't know why. <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, well, I don't mind this at all. Groudon, being the boy, hitting the Sogaleo. Yeah. And the Inner yeah, Berry, so Dox Lariat will take down the Sogaleo. Which is super helpful. And we'll probably see Incineroar come back onto the field now. Um, we're still in a bit of a tight spot though, because with the Ray with its Earth Power does make things really difficult for us. Um, intimidate. Precipice Blades probably still gets the Incineroar from this range on minus one, I would imagine. And we are only minus one with Gastro uh, with, with Groudon. I'm going to try a new turn out on the Incineroar and just protect protect Groudon here. If we can get Incineroar out for Tapu Koko, this match becomes a lot easier. Whether or not my opponent will allow us to do that, whether fake out Groudon and uh, just Earth Power the Incineroar. Remember we are minus one special defense so we will go down to an earth power and I can't afford to switch Coco in here I don't I don't feel I need Coco to come in without taking any damage so gotta hope my opponent makes a little bit of a mistake here there's a fake out into Groudon and earth power yeah they're, they're going for it so the special defense drop definitely didn't help us there because I think we take another one without that uh, we do get Coco now Can we take an extreme speed? That is the question. Ah, well we can dazzle. I don't think it's going to do enough. And we can press up his blades. Yeah, I just think... Okay, we're going to see Incineroar switch out. That makes a lot of sense for my opponent to do. So they've got the, in the, the fake out the, the next turn. Dazzling Gleam, we will get it, no extreme speed there, so that's, that's really good for us. Ah, but we're wasting the blades as an Earth Power will come out. Ooh, a Dragon Ascent, it's going to be into Groudon. So it doesn't mean Coco's going to stick around for another turn. Okay, we take that pretty well. Uh, if we just Fire Punch there, it would have been so much better. But not really thinking about that. If the Incineroar had stayed in, we needed we needed to be able to um, to get rid of it, which we might not be able to do now. I mean, a Dazzle and a Precipice Blades will get rid of it. It's just I don't think a Dazzling Gleam will get the Rayquaza. Um, okay, I protect the Coco. 
Uh, I'll just double protect here actually because it's not even worth risking anything at this point I could be cheeky and say protect Coco fire punch Ray and it would definitely put the Ray into uh, fire punch uh, dazzling gleam range the next next time out but the earth power into Groudon so easy here yeah yeah um does a dazzle get does a dazzle get the ray? I'm gonna fire punch and dazzle the ray. And see. If a dazzle gets it, then I mean we win this, but if not, then we're losing to Angelo. Dazzle gleam. No extreme speed, which is interesting. We get the ray! We can win this now. It's good. No extreme speed though, which is interesting. Um Annoyingly, we're not going to get uh, the fire punches and really do much damage to the Incineroar here. But like I say, I needed to just cover that that slot. I'm going to see the Flare Blitz. Incineroar will probably proc a berry, but I'm not really too concerned. Uh, unless the Incineroar's got like the Z move, which I don't believe it will have. And we'll soon find out. That ah, berry. So it'll be alright. We know it's got Snarl, I think. Hasn't it? Snarl, U turn, Flare Blitz, Fake Out. I think that's the set. We can use Precipice Blades now. And we will be able to take a victory here. I mean, w <coughs> we would have been able, we were quite lucky there. I think if my opponent had extreme speed or went for it, if they do have it, then it might have been a bit of a different game. Precipice Blades is enough, and we are able to pick up another victory. So, very good game to my opponent, and nice way for us to kick off today. So, let's yeah, hop over into our main screen, and uh, we can move on to our second match of the day. Oh, I'm struggling on, my friends. I'm struggling on. This is a commitment I have to content on the channel, if you didn't realise already. I don't know how many times I've actually not uploaded in the, since I've been going. So this is like year three, I think, we've been doing YouTube, which has been, it's been the most incredible journey. It's been really fun. But I don't think there's been too many days uh, where I've not uploaded. Obviously, I don't upload very often on a weekend. Uh, predominantly just going to be Monday to Friday but I really I kind of pride myself on the, the fact that there's been periods where I like it's been really tough uh, with stuff going on outside of the channel in real life and uh, I've still been able to get content up pretty much the whole time and I will always try and get content up as much as I can Got a 1759 rated player from Japan so this one is going to be really good we'll get straight into team preview and see what we're going up against today Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Dusk, Main, Kyogre, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Salamence, and Kangaskhan. So looking at probably double mega Pokemon here with the Salamence and Kangaskhan, depending on what my opponent's facing. Then the restricted core is going to be Dusk, Main, Necrozma, and Kyogre. Probably um, going to be Ultra Necrozma as well there. Incineroar and Tapu Fini are the support and cast. You've got access to Tailwind through the Salamence Trick Room on the Dusk Main, so you've got different varying modes of speed control here. The type of Finny probably has Icy Wind as well. Um, Groudon going to be really good for us here, I feel. If, if we can get a Trick Room up, um, are we going to bring Stacker here, though? Like, Stacker's not bad. It doesn't like Kangaskhan, though, if my opponent does bring Kangaskhan. But I kind of prefer the Trick Room to the Tailwind here, if that makes sense. Um, so I might lead Incineroar, Stax, Groudon, and... Do we want to bring Kyogre? Kyogre's always good to bring. And leave Coco with Mensa out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And uh, see how we can get. If we can get a victory here, this would be good. It's going to be a tough match, of course, 17.59. That's where we should be aiming for, um, but uh, we'll see how we get on. I'm actually playing through. Uh, I, I made the, the, the most ridiculous decision ever because I'll be playing uh, PCs MSSs soon. So I was like, I want a new uh, username on my cart, on my moon cart that I found. And um, I was like, okay, I'd, let's start playing through it again. So I'm, at the moment, playing through. Oh, I'm playing through again, which is, uh, I don't know, it's not the right decision, it's a tough game to play through, but it'll be worth it in the end, when I eventually get there. Do we just U-turn on the Finny to try and get Groudon onto the field? Um, 
or do we fake out and get Trick Room up? I'm probably going to just fake out Finny and Trick Room. The thing is, we could see the Necrozma just reverse the Trick Room here, but I mean, if that happens, it's a dead turn, so there's no harm in just trying it here. Uh, Duskman could Ultra Burst, could Earth Power a stacker, but we do have the Falcon Sash to kind of fall back on a little bit. And if the Trick Room does go up, it makes things a little bit easier for us. I'm going to see the Necrozma switch out and Kyogre come out. Excellent, excellent. This is perfect. Because now we're going to get a Trick Room up. Guaranteed. Um, and then we've got a nice tasty switch into Groudon the next turn uh, to protect stacks from any Kyogre issues. So let's see what my opponent does. There's a fake out into Finny. And uh, we'll get this Trick Room up. Perfect. Now we don't have Rock Slide on uh, Stack Attacker, but I don't think it matters too much. It'd be nice just to get Groudon in. Now the one thing I don't want to do is U-turn out onto the Finny, because Finny could have Protect. It's not too far to think it's got Protect. So I'm just going to hard switch Incineroar, and I'm going to go Gyro Ball. My opponent knows Groudon's coming in, so they could double into that slot, which is the the only drawback and we could have Z moved the Kyogre and maybe baited the, the Ice Beam but I feel Groudon's going to be able to come out onto the field pretty safe anyway, it'll probably take at worst a Nature's Madness and an Ice Beam which it should be able to take and if my opponent doesn't suspect the Groudon coming in and is locked into a water type attack then even better for us it's against Groudon Groudon's are key because like to winning because of that dusk main really so we need to make sure we're taking care of it and maybe this move isn't the best way to do that but we'll see Kyle going to switch straight out so that's not the worst thing in the world and the Krosma going to come back onto the field um, I don't mind this really Jarrah Ball going to do some decent damage to Tapu Fini yeah and Nature's Madness coming out into stacks okay really don't mind that at all uh now I'm gonna go Precipice Blades and um, Gyro Ball again. I could skill swap here, but uh, Cosma, I'm gonna see Kyogre come back in. Yeah, okay. <coughs> the rim, I like we could have skill swapped there. The only reason why I didn't was because I just want to guarantee this Finny going down. I don't want to take a Nature's Madness. Oh, we proc a berry. It's not good. Especially if we see Finny with Scald here. This would be bad. This would be... So bad. We should have skill swapped. Oh, now we're knackered. We are knackered now. There's not very much we can do. Um, I mean, yeah, the Finny is so, so much slower than us as well. Uh, we'll bring in Incineroar. Scald is a big problem for us though. We can't leave the Kyogre unchecked. <sighs> like a U-turn on the Finny and then a Gyro Ball will get it. Yeah, we could do that. Because we can switch Incineroar into Kyogre. And hopefully, our oh, U-turn's not even going to be enough. It really isn't. Uh, but we'll get Kyogre onto the field. I mean, we're preserving Cineral here. Ah. No one, you're like, we should have just skill swapped. We would have still had Groudon kicking around, and we probably would have been able to kind of close the game out from that point. Never mind. And the Finny slower than Groudon as well. Makes it difficult. Top of it. It's a nice ball. It's doing well. Doing all the work it needs to, isn't it? Showing why it's on the team. Heal pulse fails and what about? Oh, there we go. We could have wide guarded. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Well, this just became even more difficult us to deal with. Uh, now we can get rid of the Finny, although the Kyogre's left alone, gonna water spout, it's gonna do a ton of damage to Incineroar. 
do we do? Do we? I can't leave the Kyogre unchecked. And I don't really want a water spout either because the water spouting the Finny is not going to get us anywhere. And uh, I don't like the Trick Room turn running out here. With I think the game's like completely done. Kyogre going to protect. Yeah, we're going to get Nature Nature's Madness into Kyogre, I'd imagine. Oh, light screen. Okay. like the, the ultimate anti groudon check well, we had answers for it you know like in a best of three it would be a little bit it would be an interesting set for sure I do feel like this is a match that we could do all right in but Salamence coming out for my opponent I mean is a scald and a Z move like now with the intimidate there it's not really gonna help us against the Kyogre at all is a trick room still up no we're knackered we're knackered knackered um yeah there's not really much we can do to be honest i think it's just a case of a, a water spout and a double edge and we will go down to this team played really well by my opponent so a little bit unfortunate first but a good example uh, of a team that's really kind of caught my eye so hopefully it's a team that's caught your eye and something that you would like to maybe try out and especially it's quite specific like in this situation it's doing really well but it's a nice build and how my opponent's played it is uh, is is making it just showcase how strong it is really we do take the men's down so a little consolation here for us but the water spout gonna come out and the Kyogre gonna clean their clogs and that is game my friends unfortunate uh, ah so disappointed with that one but I mean we can't really be too disappointed we had the opportunities there to uh, to get around the the issue we had the skill swap there that's one of the main reasons why we got the skill swap um, and it well, it didn't really hit home what the the skull coming out with the switching until the last thing and you know as well maybe there was a chance of uh, I didn't realize the Groudon would actually not outspeed the Finny as well so lots of things never mind a good game for us to look back on and think well that's a, a nice team to look at and see how it operates and and make changes to our team going forward as well i'm gonna wrap things up there though guys uh, thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you've enjoyed today's episode some really good games and uh, we'll be back to finish up with this variant of the team uh, tomorrow so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye